In 2021, a staggering 12% of men reported that they felt lonely and that they had no close friends. The loneliness epidemic is at an all-time high. And ironically, in the age of social media, where there's supposed to be enhanced communication between people, where more people are being where more people should be exposed to one another, we are living in the most lonely times yet. Why is this loneliness epidemic affecting young men? precisely in this video we're going to be exploring three key reasons behind why most young men feel lonely and what young men can do to break outside of the cycle welcome to goals and growth with Estian and france a channel that will change your life forever the philosophy on this channel is let's grow together and that's exactly what we'll be doing if you smash that subscribe button and turning on the post notifications bell make sure that you stay up to date with the content that i upload every single week to attain the best version of you let's go Quite ironically, as I explained, the number one reason or the first reason behind the loneliness epidemic is social media. Even though we have access to thousands and thousands of strangers worldwide, we are more and more lonely. We're becoming more isolated. And this is because of the fact that our social skills are diminishing. We've become so used to video chatting. We've become so used to chatting over text that we've forgotten how to interact with real people. Oops. What do you mean by that? We see this in a lot of young men, especially. They lack social skills, they lack courage, they lack the confidence to make new friends, to attain new acquaintances, to meet their soulmate, so to speak, because of this lack of social skills caused by social media. Social media has become this bubble that we live in. We create our own reality. We create our own rules, and those rules do not apply in the real world. Many people try and laugh off the effects of social media and say that if you lack social skills, you simply lack social skills, you weren't born with them. That is absolutely not true. I'm a firm believer that any Anyone can be a good communicator, anyone can be a good speaker, anyone can make acquaintances and friends, but social media has taken away our ability to communicate properly, to communicate openly and to recognize our emotions. A lot of young men via social media are also being encouraged not to pay attention to their emotions, not to pay attention to things around them and to slowly focus on becoming the alpha or sigma. Even though I support some of these gestures, they are not 100% correct. If you cannot be in tune with your emotions. Why are you even human? Why are we even here on this earth? We as humans need to express our emotions at some point in time. I'm not saying you should become a crybaby. I'm saying you should recognize your emotions, deal with them and move on confidently. The second reason behind the loneliness epidemic among young men is the societal expectations and pressures. Once again, social media has engraved the idea that you need to be the top 1% of men in order to stand out. You need to be in the top 1% of men to be respected, to find a loving partner, to be appreciated and loved by everyone around you, which is simply not true. I'm not saying don't strive to be there. Absolutely strive to be the best version you can be. But don't measure your success against that of someone else. Don't measure your progress against that of someone else. It's your story and your life for a reason. You need to be content and you need to be happy with what you've accomplished. And if you've not accomplished anything meaningful, well, I guess it's time to get up and start working. I guess it's time to get up and start believing in yourself because no one else is going to do it for you, bro. No one else is going to pick you up. No one else is going to hand you everything that you want on a silver platter. That is not how life works. If you really want to change your circumstances as a young man, it is unfortunate that you are going to need to work through pain, to work through adversity, to work through the negativity around you in order to build a stronger character. Because at the end of the day, stronger character is what people appreciate and respect most. The third and final reason behind the loneliness epidemic amongst young men is the degradation of societal values. And once again, this all leads in a big loop back to social media. Social media has pushed the agenda that certain people are in certain brands brackets other people are in certain brackets there's a societal gap being created inequality is becoming larger and larger from a societal standpoint 
People move in circles, they move in cliques, so to speak, and they exclude certain people from joining certain cliques or certain groups. This is just how society has functioned for many years, but it has only gotten worse as technology has advanced and as social media has advanced. More and more people are being labeled as outsiders, are being labeled as not part of the mainstream, not part of the group, and these people have no resort, they have no support structure to fall back onto because of the fact that they might think differently, they might act differently, they might speak differently, but that doesn't mean that they're not human. A lot of young men, unfortunately, are falling into this bracket. They are working to become the best versions of themselves. They are working every single day in a disciplined and consistent manner, and that is what society does not like. They are not fitting in with the societal norms of partying, of enjoying the life while they're young. At the same time, I'm an advocate of standing out. If you really want to stand out and be respected, you'll not follow the herd. You'll be the leader. You'll be the one who thinks differently. You'll be the one who strays from the herd but still accomplishes great things. So, in essence, to end of this video, a lot of young men are going through this. And a lot of young women are also going through this loneliness epidemic. If you do feel lonely, just know that it is your responsibility to change it because no one is going to change it for you. It is your responsibility to take action, to improve your communication, to improve your intrinsic value as a person. Don't let anybody disrespect you, but at the same time, work to become the best version that you can be, because that will attract the correct people into your life.